Hey guys, it's Catherine, and you're watching See You K-Pop today. And today I'm going to be doing a reaction to Sunmi's Siren. This is off of her new album that she has released. She's been like doing teaser pictures for days, like within the last week leading up to this. So I have been ready. I have been sitting here for the last week prepared to do this, and now it's here. So I'm ready to be wowed. I saw, um, what did I see? I saw a tweet that said basically like Sunmi just makes it so easy to like stan her and to be her fan like and that's so true. Everything that she's come out in her solo career even before you know splitting off from the group and them breaking up and everything but like everything that she's done has just been amazing and like fully formed solo artist. That is what Sunmi is. And so yeah, it is like so easy to be a fan of hers because it's just all so good. Um, but anyway, Siren, let's go. Ooh, I see so many red lipsticks. How many do you need? Yo, she got length. My goodness. Bundles. Oh, she watching herself? Darling, if yourself walked into your room and started dancing. Oh my gosh, she's given so many looks. <gasps> I'm just taking it all in. Sorry, I'm not saying much. So when the siren goes off and the red light comes, is that like another side of her comes out? Is that what this means? Wow, she's on a washing machine. Amazing. Like, I need to I need to read the translation. I think I always say that about her songs. This breakdown, I was not expecting that. She's going hard with this choreography. That's a great pose. That was so good. Very different from her previous two singles. Um, and I think those two singles were supposed to kind of go together because the videos kind of went together. But this was very like all its own. 
I liked it. The video, it was all sets. You know, like she was, she never went outside. It was all, you know, based in, you know, cardboard boxes. But like the lighting of it and just the set decoration, like that room where it looked like it was um, paint splatter behind her, I think that just gave it like another dimension so you didn't feel so boxed in and like, oh, you know, like, oh, we're on another K pop set and this isn't really original. Like, it felt like they were trying to spice it up and do something different with it. But I did like the cage room. That was really cool. I don't know if that was like an actual cage, you know, like that high, that tall, or if they kind of just put bars here and then CGI'd the rest up top. I'm not sure, but I did like that room. That was a really cool looking area. Um, but I like the song. It's, it feels like um, it's from a different maybe decade. And I'm not talking about like in the Western world, like we have a certain sound that we have in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s, but maybe for like Korea, this was, you know, would have been a sound that was like really popular in another decade. Um, it just didn't sound like a classic K-pop song of today, which is interesting. And then I really like the breakdown. It didn't go at all with the rest of the song. It was almost like a YG breakdown, you know, where it's just completely different from the rest of the single, but it still sounded cool and it still sounded good. So I don't know. I really like this one. And she's always gorgeous. She had so many outfit changes, my goodness. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, like a good song. I am gonna listen to the rest of the album. Hopefully, the rest of the album is just as good, if not better. So, fingers crossed. And in the comments down below, tell me your thoughts and opinions on this song, this video, and Sun Me herself. And like this video, subscribe, follow me on Tumblr and Twitter, those are down below. And thanks for watching CUK Pop today, and have a good day.